how can we quietly go on with our activities knowing that most of the world until there's a tragedy until there's a war most of the world doesn't care about the the plight of Israel or the Palestinians and most of the world supports the Palestinians did you know that no uh -oh. every UN resolution that comes out in the region is it condemns Israel why because most of the world is controlled by the uh, the opinions of the Arabs as it relates to the Middle East and mm. oil is in the Middle East uh, yeah. most of the world is pro-Palestinian and anti-Israel I didn't know that absolutely when Palestinian terrorists barge into a synagogue and kill a rabbi and a bunch of people praying oh, okay oh the Palestinian ends up getting shot by the police. It's on the news for 60 seconds. And then somebody's condemning Israel for the next thing, whatever it is. Yeah. The Palestinians have done a far superior job in the world of public relations than has Israel. People think that Israel stole the land from the Palestinians. And the Arab world is intent on propping up the cause the, of, of the, the poor Palestinian refugees who lost their homeland. They, <clears throat> this was their land from time immemorial. The problem with that myth is that it wasn't their land from time immemorial. Mm -hmm. Other problems with the myth, Israel bought much of the land from so-called Palestinians who wanted to sell it, okay? When much of Israel, in the formative years of Israel, it was, a lot of it was a wasteland. It was a desert. It wasn't prime real estate. Israel was granted its own restoration of its own homeland after World War II, something promised back in the early 1900s, 1917, the Balfour Declaration. Israel got what it was promised, a small part of what it was promised. It was supposed to have a lot more. It got a small part of what it was promised, and it became a Jewish homeland. Jews have been hated around most of the world and scattered and after World War II there finally was some place we could go had we had a homeland before Hitler that's where we would have gone it would have been a different situation from 1948 forward there has been a homeland for the Jews you look today there's a world population of I don't know maybe 13 million Jews mm -hmm. thereabouts how many people are there Seven billion or something? It's eight, no. eight billion people? That's an infinitesimal percentage. Yeah. If you look at the land mass of Israel, it's a tiny dot on the map surrounded by its enemies. A tiny dot of land. When the world demands Israel return land, it has no land it can return. It's absurd. It's absurd. And the bigger question is why, not why does, why won't Israel give some of that land back? The, the bigger question is why won't the Arab nations take their own people back? Mm. Mm. They don't want them. Yeah. That's the truth. They're more valuable to the Arab world as a pawn for the media. Hmm. I don't understand how they can be okay with sacrificing, not only sacrificing you know, people through you know, suicide bombing, because that's a sacrifice of a person, but sacrificing the civilians in Israel that have done nothing, didn't know it was coming. They're still, they're just citizens of Israel. They live there, but that their people 
I don't understand how someone can stand with a nation that is okay with doing that. I don't either, Eli. I don't understand that. It seems evil. 